I'm going to start with a new program. Going to select the same weld condition, weld condition one, and load in my training parameters. Hit create. Store in the save point. Store in the approach point. Store the weld and from here I will select the line, go to edit, go over to weave and turn the weave on. And as you can see, the weave has a frequency. We can slow that down to, let's say, 1 point. Let's take the, that 1.7. We have our dwell time. So this is dwelling on the legs of the weave. The dwell is dwelling in the center of the weave and the joint. And then our weave width with the, the weave width, which is the amplitude across the joint. We're going to go 0.16, which with these weld conditions should give me a quarter inch weld. Hit save. We'll go half circle here. Now that we've turned the weave on, all weld points and all points subsequent to turning it on should have the weave turned on. So if we look here, you can see that we turned the weave on and now all of these subsequent points have the weave turned on. So if your next weld did not need a weave, So if your next weld did not need a weave, you would have to turn off the weave when you get ready to edit. When you get, if your next point did not need a weave, you would have to turn the weave off on your next weld. And as you can see, the weave is still turned on. Now what I may want to do is I'm traveling at 25 and with the weave I may want to take that down to 15. We're going to multi-select here, go edit.
Okay, so we have everything programmed. We will move the robot to home.